One of our goals in this entire area of work is to identify how to make embryonic stem cells that have the tissue type of a particular uh, patient. We'd like to make rejection-proof embryonic stem cells. One strategy is nuclear transfer, which is uh, this method of bringing the patient cells into an egg whose own DNA has been removed, creating essentially a rejection-proof customized cell. However, that process has not been reduced to practice in humans. It's very inefficient, even in the various mouse models where we do it quite readily. Parthenogenesis, on the other hand, is much more efficient. And so we've explored whether we can generate healthy and functional embryonic stem cells using parthenogenesis. That has, in fact, been done by many groups for, for, for decades. But the twist we've added is to use genetic selection to identify those parthenogenetic cells that would be a perfect tissue match at the tissue rejection antigens to the, to the egg donor. You can also select the cells in such a way that they might match the egg donor's siblings or a very significant percentage of the population. So for the first time, we have a prospect for making a embryonic stem cell bank that would have a reasonable probability of matching a significant percentage of possible transplant recipients in the community. So that's really what's driving this work.